Minus 100. Roger, Atlas Control. This is 1134. Check for green. 1134. All systems green. Arc launch protocol initiated. Cryogenic preparation commencing. Initiate nanotrite injection. Check. Cryogenic life support systems online. Subterranean launch injectors ready. 97% nominal. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega-5 online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. All nanotrite bio-augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrite active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. safe here get in I know you got questions but we got to get moving got bandits all over these hills we best get going I'm Dan Hager and you are one lucky son of a bitch you know arc survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authority wait you don't even know the authority yet well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn, now we both got a problem. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Thank you. 
We need to talk. Get out of the buggy. Come on, this way. You know? I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage, and that pistol, and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you Ark people. You need to find their hideout and take care of the problem. It's us or them, and they'll be coming. throw a wing stick. Ain't easy, friend. I see Dan gave you a pistol. Not a bad weapon, but if you want some subtle killing power, you'll need to use a wing stick. They've got a nano core for smart targeting, but it'll still take a little practice to master. I'll make a deal with you. You prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell Halleck it's safe to sell you some. Ready to give it a toss? Good hunting. All right, here are the rules. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. See how many you can get before the timer runs out. Good job. You're almost out of time. Good job. Nice job. If I were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck and he can set you up. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and, uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to, uh, browse my selections? What you looking for? Hope to do business with you again.
He's below us. Chase him down. You're mine. I'm gonna rip your face Well, well, look at what Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill moon. Ah, you're awake. Good. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. <laughs>
Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen, the settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends, and they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. If you help me again, I'll make sure our mechanic in town sets you up with your own buggy. Thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks, if not, See Halleck. He's right under the old sign out front. I need you to find the outrigger settlement and return here with those medical supplies. Something, stranger? Hmm. Well, Dan's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. You're the note, but when you're done, come back here. I may have something that'll interest you. You must be one of Dan's new boys. Let me see what you need. Hmm, some of these things I'll need to track down, but you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us, right? A member of our group, Juno, went missing a few days back, and I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace of him, oh, good luck, and I pray that he's safe. Couldn't help but notice, stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much of anything. Could set you up with some real firepower. Help us out here, and I'll give you a real weapon. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. Good luck. This should be an easy job.
Keep watch for intruders. Did you hear Bad stranger. Didn't know about the mutants. We usually don't get them this far out. You did good though. See Janice. She's waiting to hear what you found. Juno's dead? I knew something was wrong, but I had hoped he would show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking. And here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. Some advice before you go. Save strange.
good work. I'm starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage. Get that buggy fixed up and come back and see me. I've got some things for you to do. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hand. Truth is, not a bad vehicle, but, see, it needs work and parts. The work, I can do, but the parts, you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to... Okay, see you back here when you get the parts. Need some parts for that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. I'm afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get it. Won't be easy taking on the bandits on their own turf. Here, take some fat boys for your pistol. That ammo kicks some real butt. In case you run into any locked doors, take these plans to build a lock grinder. They do exactly as their name says. Good luck. Saw the fireworks from here. Great job. And here's what I promised you. Care to browse my goods? I might have something you need. Hope to do business with you again.
see what they're working on downstairs? Oh, fuck yeah! Big fucking turret! <laughs> No way! This is crazy! I've got a special face in! Move up! He's You're mine! Sorry. He's right Over here! There. Not me, you oh. old cat! Move it!
Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. All righty then, go ahead and get in it. How do you like that buggy? It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck.
good out there. Care to test your skills on a course? Come back and see me if you dare. Out. I've put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. Do you want to give it a shot? Good luck. You all set? You beat my time and the boost upgrade is yours. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. I buy and sell everything that you need in these parts. What you're looking for? Hope to do business with you again. Whoa there, buddy. Don't go driving off. about going down into that sewer, are you? Those sewers are dangerous, you hear me? Dangerous! Got mutants down there hoarding everything they can find. I hear it's good stuff, too. Stuff taken from people they kill.
You made it back in one piece, I see. There are sewers all over the wasteland. Just look for the hatches. That's if you're crazy enough to go looking for them. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just going to attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there. You need to get to Wellspring and find Mayor Clayton so he can get us those supplies. Hey, buddy. Come to look over the goods? What you looking for? See you soon. The yard here. 
Remember, that buggy isn't on. Get to town as fast as you can. Stranger, you got business here? You need to see Mayor Clayton? Wait a sec, I'll tell him you're here. Don't you move. Hello, sir. Got a man here to see you. Looks like Dan's in him. Interesting. Send him to me right away. The mayor can see you now, but hold on. We got a few rules here in Wellspring. You see, people don't exactly take to strangers here. Just you keep your head down and mouth shut, and you'll do just fine. Folks here are mighty suspicious. They aren't gonna just trust you, at first. My advice? Best keep to yourself. Okay? To get to the mayor's office, just cross the courtyard once you're in town. Can't miss it. <laughs> Welcome.
Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit. As long as no one sees you in it again. Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. Will you look at how you're dressed? <laughs> A man from the past walks through my door. And goes to show you that no one needs nothing. Here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Bring them. You best keep slow. Insects and other dangerous substances. Please use the clearly marked trash barrels for all your That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our sheriff. Seen Mick yet about a garage? What are you waiting for? Attention, people of Wellspring. Well, well, well. Howdy do to you. And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal, fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal. And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there? We'll get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Sure I saw them. Mutants, 10, 20 of them. Let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns. You gotta get some firepower. Then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan. Maybe you didn't hear me. You are not touching the supplies until you have some weapons. Is that clear? Me leaving here. We've always got a spot. 
advice for new racers. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> you look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. Now, just take a look at all the events we have here, find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> well, everyone needs those. Interested in winning some racing certificates? Drive safe. I got the best vehicle parts anywhere. Care to browse my selections? Nice doing business with you. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Minov. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. Now move out. Wasteland Radio. There have been reports of brass gouging, boarding, and unfair business practices. We must all work together to make it stronger and more attractive. Didn't the authorities hey, say it had stabilized Looking the caustic water? Some new technology? Well, let me give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here. If people don't know you, they don't like you. And you've got to earn their respect. Best way to do that is by making the road safer. Simply stated, destroying bandits. Makes people like you and brings business into my little bar. So I'll make a deal with you. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you a little. I'll make money. You make money. We got a deal? Excellent. I think you're learning how things work around here. Nice victory.
Well, good to see you again, friend. Almost gave you up for lost. And I see you ditched that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors, so I want you to have my pride and joy. The Desert Striker Crossbow. Not your typical bow. It has twice the punch, and no one will hear you use it. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an ARC survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. You were mighty helpful for me and my people. And it sure be nice having someone like you around here, but I can't take the risk of starting trouble with the authority. You be safe now. Pal, Mayor Clayton and Sheriff Black been asking about you. You were hired for reports of fraud scouts, reporting, and unfair business practices. We're working together to make it stronger and more attractive to outside traders and travelers. 